guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 28, and today we're going to be setting up our multi notation system. So, I'm not going to be doing any of the notations today. This is going to be kind of a short video, just getting that process set up, getting all the settings ready. Next video, the next two videos actually, will be our word notation and our engineering notation, and then we can do some other notations as we like. So, let's get started with it. Um, okay. We need to create a setting script because we don't have one of those yet. So maybe what we can do eventually is have music or something like that. You comment comment down below your suggestions. Please let me know. I'm kind of starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> I can do daily. I need to do daily stuff for sure, like daily rewards and stuff like that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos in that corner, and turn on notifications for future videos. Let's get on with it. So we're going to create an empty, okay, and then we're going to add a script. We're going to call this the settings, okay, and it could be settings manager, settings, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to call it settings, and I'm going to name this game object settings manager, settings manager, okay, let's open that up. Now... It's a pretty easy system. You'll use this for the other bimaxes. So also another thing I can do is like bimax one, two, or no, one, five, ten, one hundred. Okay. So we have our Earth and Mars game object, but we oh we do have a settings screen. Never mind. So we have a very basic settings right here. So let's just move all this to the top. Which is pretty much all of this. And our full reset can remain under like in the bottom corner. Okay. So we're just going to have one button that will toggle through all notations. So just we can just copy any button that we already have and adjust it accordingly. Okay. So also, if just so you're aware, you have to be kind of up to date with this video in order to be able to do this successfully, especially episode 10, because that's when I move all of our... Um, our notation method into the methods class so make sure you're kind of up to date with that otherwise you can just look at my notation method right here and apply it to the text like so like that all right but i'd highly recommend you to check out my previous videos this is just gonna be one of our methods right okay so in our settings we really don't need to update actually yeah we don't really need to update anything we don't need this stuff we do need our unity engine.ui namespace. Okay. And let's see, we only have a text. So this will be our notation type text. Okay. And we we can uh, have an int in our player data. So let's have a new region at the bottom here called settings. This will be our settings stuff. End region. Hashtag end region. And in here we can do public int. And we can honestly do short. Let's do short. Public short because we want the small we want the smallest variable possible. We can even do bytes if we wanted to, but I'm just gonna do a short. So a public short, um, if you haven't seen my other video, it's a 16-bit integer. And uh, right while an int is a 32-bit, obviously, and a long is a 34-bit. So if you hover over this doesn't seem like it wants to do it but if we do public uint 16 if you hover over it it rep represents a 16 bit unsigned integer right which means if we do public int let's do temp equals new short you know it'll be the same thing except this is unsigned but it they're both oh this is u short okay so if we do int 16 yeah there we go so this, an int 16 is the same thing as a short, okay? It's a six, six, int 16 is a 16-bit version of int or a short, if that makes sense. So we can easily just do short, okay? So we're going to call this the notation type, okay? And at the bottom, we're going to do hashtag region settings, Okay. I don't know why it gives us so much room down here. I don't like it. I like it when it's collapsed. And we're just going to set this to zero. Oh, stop doing that. I don't like that. Okay. 
So zero is going to be our, note, our scientific notation. And yeah, we'll pretty much write this all down in our settings. Okay. So here we can do notation key. Here, here we can do, there we go notation key and I did that by just typing this and then hitting enter and it automatically generates that notation key now I, some IDs might not do that I'm not positive but it does for me so uh, this will be our notation key so zero will, zero is going to equal to scientific one is going to equal to engineering that will be next episode two will equal to uh, letter notation, so A, B, C, D, 1,000 equals A, okay, now I hate the 1,000 equals K, and then it goes to A, B, C, D, etc., I don't like that, but this system, you'll be able to customize that as you wish, okay, and 3 beyond N, A, or, not a, uh, no answer, okay, we don't want anything for that. But we're just going to be setting this up. We're not going to be actually doing the notation thing because that would take a really long time. Or not a long time, but just uh, I'd rather separate it out. Okay. Okay, so here we're going to make a public method. We're going to do public void change notation. And here, also, we need to access our public idle tutorial game, our main script or our main class. And in here, we will do var data equals game dot data because we're going to be using game dot data numerous times, and we're going to make a switch. And in here, we'll do data dot notation type. Okay, so by default it's zero, so we're going to do case zero. And basically, we're switching. This is kind of like it switches from zero to one, one to two, back to zero, right? And this is a pretty easy thing to do. You just do data.notation type. Actually, what we can do here is be even more specific. We can do game.data.notation, and we can just really make this short and just call this note. Now, the thing we're doing here is that we are referencing a, a variable instead of a class. So I'll show you how to do something at the end, because if we do this, it's not going to change this, right? Okay. I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to set note to one. We're going to break. Or we can even just return it. Return. And for case one, we want to set note to two because we want to switch it from engineering to letter. Notation. And then for case two, we just do note equals zero. So now we'll switch between these three. Okay. And it will save. And now at the end, we need to do game.data.notation type equals note okay now that should be good this is just to make it look shorter oh okay we need a default even though I don't think that, this is kind of stupid but we don't need a default but we're gonna do default note equals zero return okay I see we can't do we can't do this we have to do break right the reason why we can't do return is because it'll return the entire void method so instead we want to do break just to get out of this switch case and then we can access this down here. There we go. We can get rid of this default. Okay. Because by default, note will already equal what it is. All right. Good, good, good. So now it will change between. We need to have our UI. So in here, we can just access it in here. And honestly, we can also have a public void start. Okay. So actually, let's make this private private okay so now the notation type text is going to be set equal to uh, we have a switch case here or what we can do is have another method called private void update notation text okay and then here we grab our switch case and we can do this right here the var note equals game dot data notation type put it at the top okay so now instead of changing things down here we will just set so if it's zero it's gonna say scientist or scientist it's gonna say scientific notation okay 
and then for one it will be letter or I mean engineering and then for two it will be letter notation cool and you can honestly just put an example here like one two three e4 for example and for engineering that would be e3 12 point 30 e3 and letter notation is 1.23 e b and honestly there's lots of ways people do this you can e you can we can even do more than one letter notation we can have it so 1000 equals a here let's just comment this out so 1000 equals a 10000 equals b or we can do it so 1000 equals a or and then 1 million equals b there's a lot of different ways to have this we're probably going to do this way okay so actually this will be yeah this will be 12.30 ea or just a like that okay now there's just so many ways people cannot agree on one notation to stick with sucks but that's the reality even though scientific notation should be the one everybody uses but sadly people still like letter notation <laughs> that's just the way it is but it's okay so now in private uh, void start we will call this update notation text so then we're gonna put this at the very bottom here just like that and we should be good to go all right and notation uh, the change notation will be applied to our button so we go to our button and we're gonna drag our settings manager and uh, apply also I really don't like when they say no function it should just be called method I don't like that it's because when you go to a chat people will say function sometimes or like a uni server where people say function it's called a method not a function and I know people get confused by that because JavaScript you call them functions not methods it's kind of weird again inconsistency it sucks so anyways we will apply the change notation go to our settings manager drag the game manager and our type our notation type text save it and we will run it oh and it won't do anything obviously well we can just see this change now the changing stuff will be next episode whoa we've been away for a while a day cool so it looks like I had to click uh, click it twice so yeah now it switches so let's see let's go to let our engineering notation and save it I think that I see the issue here it's this right here we're calling this after we set this notation type to note so what we need to do here is put at the very end and it should work okay so we have scientific notation engineering cool we are on track all right anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like comment your suggestions or anything questions all that good stuff down in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you're new or if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on the bell for notifications and check out my videos in that corner Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.